Hey guys, welcome back. We have just left Barn Napier, Spoon Village, and with Claire and Jeremy of Ferrul, we've decided to take the lesser travelled road down towards the border, the river border of Senquang and Saisenbun, and follow that river around to Taviang. Has this been a wise decision? Or are we now lost? doing some serious climbing guys <laughs> haven't got out a second for ages how are you guys coping in the back there bouncing around well there's not much room to bounce anywhere too is there <laughs> Turkeys, big turkey in the back there. <laughs> Seen a lot of them with those, what would you call them, an AK-47? Similar magazine with the stock cut off them. A lot of guys on bikes with guns here. I've got no idea where we are. We are along this back road between Barn High and Taviang, but a very pretty little roadside village with lots of water and ducks and very strung out village. All this water you're seeing is coming down out of the mountain. We've passed through a few wet spots on the road. Even a roadside waterfall here. Uh, we just pulled over. Hello, Sabadee. Yeah, we thought that it was irrigation or something, but it's just water, a little stream that flows down out of the mountains, creating this waterfall. Get the name of this village. Hello, Sabadi. You're going to go in and do some weeding, Nina. <laughs> Coming in here? No. No, I don't want to stand on there. That lettuce and onion there in front. The cabbage is raging, isn't it? It's Laulum village. Laulum. 
Must be a river down by here somewhere. Laolong do love to live near rivers. Ban Zom. You're a different looking dog, are you? Different sort of coloured dog. Like hey, the tail too. The amber eyes. Be a good looking dog. Yeah. Found a walkway to the river. We're going down. We met a um, cyclist who said the butterflies are out of control. Yeah. So many a good little picnic spot. Yeah. We got the tarp down. Lena swimming. Lena swimming. You're going to be soaked in the car, mate. What did mum say? Don't ask me if you've already asked mum and she said no. Sounds like mum said no. Wow. Absolutely God's country, hey? Yeah, we'll meet you down near the bridge. You float down. I got too far in. They'd say all those banana leaves down here is where they've slept. It's nice soft sand there. Fire here. Beautiful little river there. Some, somebody's having a crack at getting this out. For the actual shape of it, hey. Nice red hardwood.
shaky or not good framed footage. We can blame Nene. I'll go on the seatbelt. You guys got. Are you ready? We're ready. I'll wait until these guys come past. No, we're not bouncing over. We're yeah. all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Really rough there. Yeah, that's a big rock there. Yeah. You can get past. Yeah. 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 Uh, these guys have elected to walk across here and I'll drive it. She comes awfully close to this edge and it is a drop isn't it? How thick the jungle is on this side, untouched mate, untouched. It's been thick like that for ages coming along here. Big old gnarly rainforest trees that have lost their leaves because it is winter at the moment here. The landslides are rock falls here, if you notice, Jeremy. You know, oh, oh, yep, oh, look, Papa's in there. Absolutely gorgeous trail this is. Bit sketchy in parts, which is good, gets the blood running. This goes up to a nice slopey flat rock waterfall. Look how narrow and steep this road gets. Now if you go look at that. Have a go at this. Absolutely stunning. We're just walking this track now. See how bad it does get. Make sure it gets better up out here. This 
for BD. It's got a hat like mine. Tarviang. Okay. The the road. Okay, DD. It's good. <laughs> I had no idea what I was talking about, I don't think. That's okay. You want to stay up here, mate? Yeah. Yeah. What a test that was. Not finished yet, mate. Oh, yeah, I better not speak too soon, but we do have a fair drop down there still. But it's a good sign seeing all this timber cut up here. For a while there, we've just gone back to one motorcycle track. Uh, got a dilemma we've got no internet and we've come to this major intersection here there is a town here maybe I'll ask somebody ah big bull here hello mr. bull how are you lovely geese under there Hello, Sabadee! Sabadee! Long time now, Sabadee! Okay. Sabadee! Sabadee! That way! That way! Tavian. Where are you going? Or by sea? Okay. We can. It is Mong Village. Yeah. Okay, their homes are built up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I'm used to seeing them flat on the ground. Yeah. yeah. So, which way to Tarbiang? By Su. He will go to the okay. too. Oh, okay. We follow. What are they? Cucumbers. Yeah. Kiwis. Okay, a village like this would need its own excavator, wouldn't it? Would you imagine up here in the wet season? We'll go wait. Okay. We will wait. Come, Jada. Or Jow. What an adventure this has been, eh? Brand new rice shed, rice storage. Oh, twist me ankle. It was a relief when I seen that vehicle here. It was. <laughs> we'll probably just turn around this corner and there'll be a toll gate there, the expressway. Should be a good go. Billy cart track, mate. It is. Okay, sweet. Not good to death. I thought he was exaggerating when he said we're not far from a concrete road and I just thought he meant tarmac but yeah. it is a concrete road. Hey, that's the power station honey. Can you see it? Yeah, I think we go around behind it. had to check it out. We actually went the wrong way. That's why there's a concrete road here for the power plant. They've had to put it in. It's what the mines should do in around Pubia for the trucks to drive on. The trucks would love a nice concrete road. 
So with the villagers. We got to look at this. They got a couple of witches hats, so you, you're not going to you're not going to blow through it. What if you just thought you had to come in between the witches hats? Oh, I don't feel real good standing on that side. I'm probably hanging out over the edge. How undercut is this? They had shored it up previously too by the looks yeah. of that pile of rubble down there. I hope no one ended up in there. Oh. Careful this wire here. Yeah. Maybe somebody's just blown through there and oh. knocked the wire down. <laughs> it's not really, no, no, like rocks been put there, like big rocks. No, nah. it's a little dead. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought maybe cars were thinking you go between them. Nah. Yeah, it's not giving enough of a nah. signal. Do think. not go down there. Can't you see? Can't you see? What that woman Lord, she's been doing to me? Can't you see? Very silent but deadly near getting wiped out by an 11 year old girl. We have made it to uh, near Tarviang. This is the turn off to, to go to Saisenbum. We've just come from this area, about 15 kilometers up along that road. We've turned onto this road from the adventure we've just, that's just taken us about five uh, hours to complete today. Anyway, we're here right at the intersection. Going to get some lunch. It's about 2.30. Gonna get a feed here at 50 kilometers, say some boom that way. This is where we're dropping Claire and Jeremy off there getting on <laughs> getting on this bus. Yeah. <laughs> and they're going all the way down to Cambo in that. Yeah. <laughs> down the Mekong. Bloody bullshit she says. celebrating yeah they stand there just chatting to each other waiting for a guy to come and start talking to them possible yeah when it's not always raining in days like this when there's no one complaining in days like this when everything falls into place like the flick of a switch when my mom told me Okay guys, we have arrived at the Pussy 2 guest house in Saisenbun, room 201. 
just behind Pussy One Guest House, which is next to the restaurant where we usually eat. But check this out. Not bad. Haven't got a bar fridge. We got a balcony. The troopy out there. Looking out at the big monument thingy. 180,000, there he is down here, 180,000 kip. Nine US bucks, aircon, hot water, not that you need a TV. It is a little on the small side, but who cares? Oh, it comes with free breakfast too. Breakfast, coffee, that's as good as it gets, isn't it? We have stayed up here before, but there's nothing else up there. Excellent view up there at those guest houses. But you've got to come all the way down here to eat and go get snacks after dinner. We've got a fruit shop across the road here. Right up, I've got to get these bags. We'll investigate, that's Claire and Jeremy's room. Investigate the view out here, hey? Okay. This is Pussy One. The guest house we normally stay at and that's the restaurant right next door the rooms are uh, old and very tiny which isn't a big deal except you're right up against the restaurant that does play music at night we tend to go to sleep early when we're on the road so we'll be heading out here today take claire for a hike up to this viewpoint and we're gonna see if They've got the tours open to Pubia, Laos' tallest mountain, and um, get a tour up there. We'll be investigating it first thing in the morning. How angry does that look? Uh, what a drive in here, something I'll never tire of. No matter how bad that road can get sometimes, the views are spectacular, guys. Apparently there's a, a rooftop view. Oh wow, okay. Check that out. Now we're talking. No maybes about it, I don't think. We'll get rugged up and come up here for a couple of tasty beverages. I don't think it's going to take much twisting Jeremy's arm to have a beer up here. The government building across here. Massive, isn't it? Pubia is up behind here, up in the clouds. I've never seen it out of the clouds yet. This is where you have breakfast, guys. This is uh, the breakfast bar. Entrance. Big last supper table. Show the out, outside of it. So you can find it when you're here. If you can't find this place, you shouldn't be on the road. Where this big monument is. Right there, there we are. Pussy 2 guest house. Alright, big day guys, cheers. Awesome. Massive day. Big day, big ears? No, no big ears, okay. <laughs> we are back at our usual haunt. There's not a spare table. This must be a good place to eat. It's the only place we've really found to eat other than a nice looking place across here but every time we've gone there through the day it's been open but nobody's there to serve you similar sort of fare i think but i think we're on the on the winning restaurant this place is absolutely packed a packed restaurant tells you something doesn't it anyway guys epic day
as I said, we're based up here for a few days. Going to uh, see a lot of things while we're up here. Kick back, relax. I'm looking forward to not driving tomorrow. And uh, just showing Claire and Jeremy around this place. Hopefully, we'll be able to get up to Pubia, Laos' largest mountain. But until then, guys, until the next video, thank you for coming along with us today. That is, I was going to say, that, that's up there. That's better than Road 23, but it's going to take some beating old Road 23. But uh, the Troopy has proven itself today. Put it through its paces, tested it out, and done it without even thinking twice about it, where Rado would have shit twice and died. Great to have you guys along. Thank you for coming. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys. It really does help. Hope you are all well. Happy Mong New Year to you. And I'll see you in the next video. Look at this, look at this guy's bong just here. This is a seafood buffet too. And we are just over here. Got pork fried rice, another tasty dish there, stir fried veggies. Yes, a lot of chili in there. What is that? That looks oh, alright. Sorry, I need a pork fried pork. That's alright, we can pick around the uh, chili. Can't you see? Yeah, can't you see? What that woman's been doing to me?